Hey everybody, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We, last episode, managed to defeat Isaac as Blue Baby. Uh, and then we re-rolled the floor, almost died, re-rolled the floor, and then died. So, this run, we're going hard, we got the D6. Let's do that thing that I am so... Well, you know what? That was literally completely accidental. I don't know why I did that. Uh, but now I'm apparently a wizard with more health and more range. So, uh, okay. Okay, game. Uh, I totally forgot to wait out. Are you a wizard? So we're gonna do, <laughs> do my best to actually kill stuff with it. Please go away. I don't want to be a wizard. You're a wizard, Isaac. No, no, wrong series. Like, totally wrong series. Please just die. This, these angled shots are not fun. Alright, gotcha. That looks like we're finally back to normal. Man, the amount that I've just been finding random since... This is just basement one. I was expecting it to be, like, big. Because, I mean, we saw quite a few... I mean, quite a large room in general. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get more than one reroll, so I'm probably just gonna wait. But, that six room reroll will be uh, a bad trip, so we're trying all the pills. And there's a tinted rock there, which I'm not going to be able to use because I don't have a bomb. Uh, that is the unicorn stump, so I'm going to go ahead and reroll that. I don't like this item either, so I'm actually going to wait. Hmm, that leaves interesting options open. Uh, that, that item is the fly that protects you by... It starts attacking stuff when you take damage. So, bad trip. Okay, so there's totally a plan in place here. Uh, I'm just gonna let it, let it ride, I think, though. For now. We've got some leeway in the plan for now. It involves me killing everything in this room first. So what is the plan? I guess I can... Ooh, another tinted rock. I guess I can explain the plan. Um, we've got a self-sacrifice room. That was not intentional. We've got a self-sacrifice room, and that self-sacrifice room will pay out guaranteed... Uh, at least it used to pay out guaranteed... If, and only if... Well, not if, and only if it... If you had a half a heart after using the sacrifice, it would pay out for you. Which means that because we have a bad trip, i.e. a full health pill, and there are definitely not six more rooms on this, so while I'm over here, I'm just going to take the damn fly. Yeah, best bud, my sworn protector, I hate you. So we'll take the damage. Oh, this one, okay, so that's Mom's Pearl. We're going to take it, and we're going to use the full health pill. I'm going to bomb this. Two soul hearts, very nice. This will act as a cushion for us for next floor. There is another tinted rock over here. Sorry, down in here. Wait, was that a tinted rock? That rock just is an off color in general. This one is most definitely a tinted rock. I don't think I can get it close enough to check for anything else. That's four spirit hearts. This room, yep. Nothing to it. Excuse me, got a cough here for a second. <coughs> mm. So Larry Jr. Uh, it's a completely empty room, and one of them is the toothless Larry Jr. Or, I, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, it looks like his... Oh my... It looks like his, uh, it almost looks like he's thrown up in his mouth a little bit. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, maybe his teeth rotted away? Something disgusting. Let's just leave it at that. Maybe maggots in his mouth? I don't know. Probably the maggots in the mouth. I, uh, let's just leave it as I don't want to find out because that just sounds like a bad time. So I got my fly, which I then used to kill him. So, we're going to have a bunch of money, and no keys to go spend it. 
So now we're really looking for keys, as in really, really looking for keys. Can't get into that boss challenge room. Uh, I'm tempted to just rush right away into that, but I'm going to wait until I have a reroll. Man, I'm talking about rerolls already. That's awesome. I mean, there's a lot of items that I haven't seen yet, which means that if there's an item that's kind of meh, I will totally be up for rerolling it. And if I haven't seen it before, I'll definitely take it. I'm not going to reroll something I haven't seen before. All right, that could help us get our keys. That's pretty much all we've got right now are scents. This could also get us our keys. Speed down, that's very bad. There are a lot of speed ups now though, which means I'm not as worried. Still a little worried. I wouldn't say at all that I'm like completely nonchalant about it. I don't like speed downs. I like being stupid fast. Uh, even in the even at the points in time where it hurts you. Uh, I feel I'd rather have points in time where being too fast is your problem rather than being too slow. Because usually being too fast is accidental damage, whereas being too slow is you just lost the run damage. Um, you know, like Lust or War, stuff like that. Bosses that require you to be fast. Or even, I mean, even uh, Globins. Globins can ridiculously easily enter. Oh, what the hell? Oh my gosh, that's... Okay, I gotta take care of everything else here. The, uh, the red... When they die, they drop into ooze. Just like a globin, which weirdly I was already talking about. Um, this is of course inconvenient because this thing spawns flies. When that happens. Oh my goodness, which means... Okay. Almost, almost. Luckily, that was a black fly. And black flies are harmless. See? Hey, black fly, how are you? Unfortunately, I don't think he ever spawns without. Darn it. Well, now I've got the fly insta killing thing, which will help me quite a bit if I can just time it right. There we go. Beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go into the curse room. Actually, no. First, I'm going to... We need a key. Very badly. I'm gonna go down to 15 cents looking for one. Which, of course, means one more play for now. I will, I will go hard on that. To get some sort of consumable. Got these paw. Okay, full health, good to know. Paralysis. So, uh, what am I going to do with Guppy's Paw? I'm going to pick it up and then re-roll it. Game, I hate you, please die. I'm not picking that up. I'm not picking it up, game. I know that's what you want, but I refuse. I will not endorse your freaking shenanigans. Alright, pretty fly. Totally amazing. Especially to get that off of a slot machine. Granted, I'm going to be paying quite a lot more money into this slot machine than it deserves. Another bad trip pill. Could use that maybe later. Oh, I just want a key. Okay, item room, here we come. Distant admiration. Okay, so we're playing flies, and tons of flies. Uh, I expect to see mulligan, or something. I'm okay with this, I just would have preferred to not have just spent all my money on a slot machine. But we used our effectively one reroll for the floor, we probably won't see. Oh my gosh. So the goal here is, of course, not to take any damage. Not to take any red heart damage. Uh, Distant Admiration does do a crap ton of damage. But you gotta micro the hell out of it. I did take some damage there. Getting that done. Of course, Distant Admiration travels 
clockwise, which honestly throws me off. We have a devil room now. Spirit of the Night! I've seen Spirit of the Night. I want angel rooms. I want angel rooms. I really do. As, as tempting as that is, I want... I want to see an angel room. I want to see more angel room items, because it's something that we haven't seen before. Okay, well, not that we haven't seen before, but that we haven't seen very much of it at all. I really wish these large rooms gave you... Oh gosh, Globins, too? Man. Okay, Distant Admiration, rotated, perfect interval there. Uh, nope, still got one body left. And a key, which is great news, considering we went from 17 cents to literally none. Just trying to get one key. But we did also get uh, a pretty fly out of it, so... I can't complain too much. Though I can definitely be uh, stoically displeased, I think is uh, the phrase I'd like to use with that. Lucky foot makes gambling better, I think. I want to say, it. see that bad trip pill should have become full health regardless, I think. It's been a little long since I've played with lucky foot and had a bad trip pill that I've known as a bad trip pill. And you can kill yourself if you want to, Wrath. I'm not gonna stop you. Go ahead, throw another bomb at me. Oh wow, you died really fast. Alright, so now we're doing good on bombs. We're just kind of rotating around what we've got. What we actually have versus what, uh, what we could have. We started with keys. Sorry, we started with, uh, with money, and then we had some keys. Now we have bombs. And by some keys, I mean we picked up a key, immediately used it, then picked up a key and immediately used it between the last two floors. And... I just want you guys to die. Like, please, just die. This room is boring me now. Shoot the fires, because you never know what you might find. Hey look, we actually have like two consumables. I think I am going to wait on this. That was very interesting how it just stood there. I'm going to try and find the boss room. I think I just made a mistake. Well, I killed that and got this, so... I wasn't confident I was going to be able to get to that chest after that explosion. Little... Oop, almost stepped on that creep. That would have been bad. Would have been a terrible mistake. Oh, well, he got me. And I don't see anything else worthy here. Um... Yep. Yeah. Oh, peep. Not happy about this. I suck at fighting Peep, and it's a champion version of Peep. Who already has the eyes out. I'm very much trying to use the flies here because... They do a lot of damage in comparison to my tears. And trying to avoid these eyes is super annoying. Now that bouncing things basically um, can bounce off each other and basically anything else their paths have become so much more unpredictable. Like, they, they bounce in ways that any normal person would consider weird. Like, they sh one shouldn't have, like, superseded the other there, and then both of them kept on the same path. That is not how I would have predicted that to go at all. But, either way, we got him. Another devil room, and that is Speedball. Thought it was gonna be Synth Oil. I... Whatever. I'll take a range up. We don't know what this is. Just want to kill these fires first. Tears down, not what I wanted. Right, so we're going to go to the curse room and hope to find an item in there because that would be the nice thing. Wouldn't it, game? Is 
Now we do get some spider friends. I don't... Oh, that was very nice. Alright, so we could go to the shop and hope. Or we could just move on. I think the answer is just move on. I've got one key. I want to guarantee that for the item room next floor so that I can get a reroll earlier rather than later. We're behind on the clock. I'm not really aiming for the clock right now. I'm aiming for a fun run because we have the D6. I want to see some shenanigans. I'm surprised I haven't taken damage like that. I honestly don't know how I dodged that. The hero fans. Alright. Oh, well, there we go. No. Mm. Ah, well, with my range so good, it is a stats up. It is a stat up, and then a reshuffle. And yep, yep. Well, I'm not entirely sure where everything went, to be honest. Just, just not sure. I'm going to hope that everything went to a good place. Uh, my damage feels like it is increased. I don't know if that's true, but it feels like I'm killing these a little bit faster. Uh, I still want to keep Mom's Pearl. Right, we found the boss room, which is very good. Alright, because hopefully I can kill this boss. Pop the hero fan card. Just in case. Alright, definitely want to visit the shop now. So these things don't give don't have contact damage. Oopsie. Well, distant admiration, or my protective fly. I'm, try I'm trying to use him to hit Gertie, but it's just not working the way that I would like. Darn it. Hooter, go away. There we go. Distant admiration was close enough there to do some pretty... Pretty brutal damage. Alright, Angel Room. Finally. The Miter. Oh, do I just take the Miter or do I reroll? My chance of Spirit Hearts goes through the roof, but... Okay, Guardian Angel, I'll take it. We got a lot of flies, so those are gonna go faster. I already have a lot of Spirit Hearts. Not like a ton-ton. The Miter is really good, but I was hoping... You gotta keep dreaming, man. You gotta dream. I guess we don't have anything to to hold right now, so we might as well hold on to the bad trip pill just in case. That bad trip pill could very well become super useful in the late game if I continue to increase my heart containers, or if I choose to do this. Which is, of course, yes. I'm, I'm rolling in money. Uh, okay. The IV bag could very well be worth it. But I want keys, and keys I got. So, sweet. So I'm gonna take this IV bag and just... Pump out that red heart damage. And I'm gonna go look at the shop, because honestly... I feel good about the shop. I feel like the shop should be good. I don't think we've got enough rooms to pick up another reroll before this. Because um, I would love to reroll the IV bag, because I can't take it with me, and rerolling a used item that you're not going to take is usually strictly better than most other passive items. Or at least it's a better bet. You know, if there's a passive item and it's a small increase, it's, you know, it's a better chance to reroll it into something that's good. Wait, no, sorry, I started 
I got distracted by what I was fighting. I mean to say that if there is something that is a, use, a, a passive that might not be great, but is better than nothing, um, re-rolling it is not going to gain you as much as if you re-roll a uh, use item that you for sure are not going to be able to keep. Because it's better than nothing, and the other one is nothing, so you re-roll the worst thing. Pretty sure that makes sense to most everybody, but I know I'm not presenting it in the most straightforward fashion. Come on, stop trailing that creep. I'll get to that chest in a minute. Options. Hell yeah, I want options. I also want a soul heart, and I also want a key because I'm running low, and we are just gonna... Because we pretty much took everything from the shop, I'm going to donate because I've almost got enough to get it to 200. And I think that's worth doing. What is in here? I will be getting more money anyway, basically. So the secret room is likely not going to be on either side of that. Oh, look, a sacrifice room. I have way too many spirit hearts for this to be worth doing. Another penny? Excuse me, once again, I got a call. <coughs> ah, alright, so. When did my eyes do this thing? I don't know when my eyes did that thing. Okay, we'll see about that. This, this is a very, like, unfortunate room. Like, everything about this room is bad. Uh, I'm letting them get close to me, so that my distant admiration can just wreck them. Like, and it's working. You... Fortunately, the rotation's kind of off now, but bam. Wrecked. So that is a boss challenge room. I have to decide if I want to go for that. Um, I'm sure I'll bomb for a chest. Now, I'll take a heart of damage. I mean, basically, I'm going to get myself as much money as I get out of this. I'm so, like, I'm really, really close. Wow. Oh, that's right, I have the lucky foot, so shouldn't my gambling chances be better? Totally forgot about that for a second. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I get tons of money. I'm obviously not going to get tons of money because I have a penny left and like, a heart and a half to spend. But I'm now pretty much rolling in keys, which I'm good for. That was seven cents. So what I think I'm gonna do is look for that secret room, which I think is gonna be to the left of this. No. It's to the right of this? Is this? Yeah, it's accessible from all sides. Which is apparently one of the rules. Yeah, I'm blowing this one up. Two cents and two bombs. That was pretty much strictly worth it. Unfortunately, you know what? I actually am so close to getting a, a charge for the D6, I could reroll that IV bag before I leave. That's totally worth it, and I don't... But by the nature of the IV bag, I can get myself down to the hearts to, to do it. So, this is going to make me two-thirds of the way guppy. The question is, which of these do I reroll? And I actually have to get the d6 before I finish this fight, or I will not get what I want. Do I reroll the IV bag, or Guppy's head? You know what? I don't know the challenge room pool as good as the shop pool, which is, I think, what the IV rerolling the IV bag would, would pull from. I'd like to know what it is. Oh, man. I, I played chicken and lost really hard right there. Thank you, my protector at fly. Please continue to kill things. Damn you, peep. Damn you, peep. I think I'm gonna re-roll in here just to see what I can get. Oh gosh, yep. I knew that I was coming straight for me. 
but I needed to get out of the way because that's where Peep was going to. Stop bouncing in stupid ways, I. I don't want to have to deal with you. I'm watching you. I can see you bouncing around and I am not amused. I need to be really careful not to like accidentally pick up that head. Distant admiration got to do some work there. Which is really nice. It's a lot of damage. And it's done. I hope. Now we get a spirit heart for it. So I'm gonna reroll Guppy's head. Common cold. That's really nice. So no complaints, definitely no complaints over my choice of reroll target there. And we've got 11 cents, which I'm probably just going to throw at the shop, to be honest. Although, I, with 9 bombs, I could probably pretty easily find the top secret room, which might contain a bunch of hearts. Which would be Ivy Bag Heaven. Pills. Don't want that. Definitely want that. Don't want that. So, it's definitely 100% true that the Lucky Foot no longer fixes pills. It, it is certainly true. I'm going to store upgrade level 3. I don't know what that's going to get me, but I'm going to do it. I'll keep this 7 cents for the next shop, hopefully. But yeah, I'm definitely not going to be messing around when it comes to... You know what, I keep like starting sentences and I'm like, yeah, that's that's a good thing to say, and then I forget halfway through. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to mess around when it comes to picking uh, optimum reroll targets. I'm not okay. I'm not, as I don't want to backtrack that far. Not for what's probably one, maybe two cents. All right, let's do this. I probably could have made that, but I did not trust my speed. Yikes. All those stupid bouncing skulls. I didn't even realize I got hit. The only reason I know I got hit is because that stupid white fly is flying around me. Oh, gosh, I hate these guys. They spawn creep where they land. And they shoot things everywhere. It's like everything that I absolutely abhor about leapers. Alright, well I got the poison on him. Now luckily that hit me when he was open, so it actually killed him. Oh, god. Okay, well I'm not going back that way uh, probably ever again. I don't have a reroll, so I don't want to go into the curse room, because I'm definitely looking for more guppy items. I'm pretty much there. Five cents. Just straight up. Also hearts. Also all the hearts. Please die, heart. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. I do like if you poison the heart, you can see which mask it belongs to. That is kind of cool, because I don't think you could do that before. So I think the hearts were coded in such a way that they didn't actually have it, like, they didn't actually react in that manner. Okay, you two can just die. I miss your friend, he was cool. He killed things for me. Now we're going to go to the curse room here. As much as I'm adamant about it, because I only have two spirit hearts. There is also a tinted rock right there. So, net gain. I have two spirit hearts from that little soiree. Uh, but I am looking for the item room now. And not finding it. That's... Oh wow, that is bad. Alright. You can do it. Okay, I didn't want you to do that. I wanted you to get me this for free. You can do it, green statue. Oh, come on, green statue. 
Did they code it so you did not have the arc to do that on purpose? I think they did. Uh, damn it. I was really hoping to just be very, very, very close to in range, but actually out of range. That did not stop it. <sighs> you stupid Tumas. It's a Tuma! And it needs to die. Poisoning tumors, guys. Obviously, I'm doing the best thing. Best thing. Poisoning tumors. Alright, so we are pretty much doing ridiculously well in terms of consumables. But I wouldn't say that my damage is particularly overwhelmingly good. However, we've got good defense, which means I can last a while, and we've got a good number of red hearts. Oh, the fool. That could actually be particularly useful, honestly. Uh, no way in hell am I re-rolling one of the best items ever. Look at me, I'm so sad. I saw my dead cat... This is one of those fracking rooms. Holy shit, this room is bad. This room is really, really bad. Like, I'm tempted to say... Like, I don't want to fight the boss in that situation because... I don't want to take that red heart damage. I don't want to go through there, though, because... The chances of me taking red heart damage in that room are really high. We've got... Retracting spikes and AIDS poop. It's like, hey, Omni Griffin, you want to take some damage? Uh, well, here's how. Okay, the adversary. Okay. He's the one who does that, because I know there's the dark one. Well, there's red heart damage. So, chances of getting an angel room are pretty much null now. I ended up in that somehow with him. I'm going to be using this bad trip pill, I'm sure of it. Because he just... God damn it. I can take one more hit before I use it. It's really hard to read his patterns. Barely managed to dodge that, but... Consistently dodge it? Seems unlikely. I want you to die. Please die. You're pretty darn close. I'll just tank off with you. So here's where I get to choose a damage up or a health up. I'm going with the damage up, even though it's a speed up as well. Shot speed up, I mean. We're going to take over the fool. I am not happy about the way that went. Like, very not happy. Let's see if I can do this. Barely. The damage, I, I just need damage. I need to be able to clear rooms fast. My health was, was decent, and now I feel really stupid for not taking the miter, though I'm gonna go ahead and guess that my guardian angels probably protected me from more spirit hearts than I would be losing. Now once again, we do have the money to go to the shop, which is going to probably be a saving grace. Oh my gosh, two items. Two items! This is like the old shop! This is like the original! We're taking champion belt. Hell yeah, damage up and... Okay, it specifically says challenge up. Um, which means I know what the little purple champion band does, because uh, it was released to us in the spoilers. If, if you were not following the spoilers, because uh, if you're following the spoilers, you probably know what this was. Uh, the champion belt was said to increase the number of champions that would appear in various rooms. Boop. Boop. Every little bit helps. Um, so with that, um, saying challenge up, I'm just bad. I'm mad because I'm bad. Oh, and there's, oh, there's hearts. 
You bet your butt I'm taking these hearts, but I'm also waiting for that to respawn for my way back. Oh my gosh, really? I just I just wasn't paying attention. Like there's there's no excuse. I just obviously was not paying enough attention. I'm thinking oof. There. And I'd be right. Greed! Greed, damn you. Ooh, please drop Steam Sale, actually. I saw it, but I don't think that removes it as a possibility for you to drop. Alright, that leaves 8 cents. That actually makes me feel a little silly because if I had bought Steam Sale, um, with that I could have then bought the other thing. Um, I'm going to keep it though. I'm going to keep this mo the money, I'm not going to throw it into the shop because I think with fighting greed on this floor we won't fight greed on the next floor, or maybe we're guaranteed to fight super greed on the next floor, or who knows. But I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. We are on to the mom, mom fight. Okay, hands. Watch the hands. There's four of them. Maybe just three if the poison wore off. Yeah, it looks like just. Nope, there's four. Paralysis. I'm just going to use it because I don't want to deal with it. Picking that up so that I don't take red heart damage on the floor because I would like to see an angel room after the mom fight. There's no way we're close enough to the time for the boss rush. That, that ship sailed long ago. Another spirit heart. Very good. It might allow us to go to that curse room. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to go to the curse room. Because I'm not taking that. Goat head, he accepts your offering. Uh, so I was bad, and I was very, very curious about that item. And it, it was mentioned, because I am, as, even though I'm not really going on the subreddit, because uh, there's apparently there's this giant, um, don't want to say scandal, but that's like as close as I can think of to what it actually is. Uh, we're b basically, some people found out about something that Ed... Uh, McMillan, the creator of the game, for those who don't know. I uh, really wanted to keep a secret. And, uh, yeah. Obviously it wasn't kept a secret, because people found out about it. That's the missing page, part two. I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just... We're playing some risky games, let's just say that. Increase our health. Cool. Uh, before I spend any more, I'm gonna wait and see what, uh... Uh, I should have guessed. Like, I, I... Really? I was still standing in that? Damn. But yeah, basically, some stuff was uh, released. Stuff was seen that Ed didn't want seen. Oh, I'm in some trouble now. God damn it, that was obnoxious. But yeah, the stuff that he didn't want seen... And it got seen, basically, some people, I think... Uh, you know, honestly, I don't really know, because I'm trying to keep my, my head out of it. Something about the Lost. Don't know what it is. Don't know what it's supposed to be. Don't know what it was. You know, none of that is the realm of my knowledge. And I'm okay with that. Spirit Heart. Very important. Mom's Purse. And it's an item that I don't know off the top of my head, but I know is decent, I want to say. I don't know. For sure. That's some extra money, basically, that we're finding there. We've got a lot of bombs and keys, so I'm totally willing to do this. Uh, but yeah, so I'm trying to stay away from the subreddit as much as I can because of things like that. But uh, I do still watch BizNap. His episodes that are currently out, which for me, I, it's, it's what, the... I don't even know the day. It's been a week since release. A week since release day. Um, so it's the 11th. And, um, ooh, that was close. Basically, I still watch his because his episodes are from pretty early. He's done some of the challenges. He's done some normal runs. He's kind of done everything that I have up until this point. Um, he hasn't unlocked the D6, but I'm sure that he could. Oh my gosh, that is a 
champion that I don't know what it does. Yep, I couldn't avoid the creep. Oh my! Just eternal heart, eh? That's cool with me. Oh, there's red heart damage. So, red heart damage no longer matters. Which kind of sucks, but you know, whatever. Uh, is this the top secret? I don't even know. Nope, probably not accessible in one of these directions, and I just, yeah, I jumped the gun. So it's probably that one. Let's explore. Yeah, uh, he did tell me. So, so once again, we've gone completely roundabout, like ridiculously roundabout, for me to reach the point where I say, the goat head, which I just picked up, he revealed on his stream, or one of his, uh, Man, where is the secret room then? He revealed that it means that you are basically guaranteed to get... When I say basically guaranteed, I mean pretty much guaranteed to get... the devil room slash angel room after a boss fight, once you pick the, that item up. Which means that if you get it in a deal with the devil, you're guaranteed to get... That activated. Uh, you're guaranteed to get a uh, deal with the devil because you just got it from a deal with the devil, therefore, you know, kind of sealing your fate. But getting it outside of a deal with the devil actually gives you a chance to get it by other means, right? So this is, in fact, the last shop. You know, I don't know what this is. I don't like that item. I know what it is and I don't want it. But I want that item, so we're gonna go get that item. I think we picked up Char maybe ooh, maybe I did actually just accidentally do a bad thing. Sure. That was totally an accident, right? We're gonna blow up that one. Heart, half heart. I don't think I can get soul hearts from these. But I can hope. Oy. I think I've started like three th streams of consciousness at this point and forgotten some of them. Boom, you get that last cent. Because I don't know. You know what? You know what? I bet the secret room's like right here. Nope. Alright. Well, my betting days are probably done. Well, you know what? Could be here. Could be here. Soul hearts. Troll bombs. Alright, well, I'm picking up this uh, eternal heart anyway. Because, best case scenario... Worst case scenario, I take damage and I don't get it. That was really close, and there it goes. Yeah, I saw myself getting hit there pretty easily, but I kind of had to hope that my orbitals were going to block that one. I totally didn't even see that shadow. With all these things buzzing around me, the shadow is not, like, it's still a little small. With this strafing pattern that I've got on right now, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to run myself into it anyway. But this is going to be a pretty succinct mom defeat. But I did get the goat head, so I, even though I've taken a lot of damage, I should still get it. I unlocked something sticky. Does that mean I get to fight Gish now? Dead Dove, Flight and Spectral Tears. This is basically Spirit of the Night, which I passed up before. Just, uh... Not. What that means, I can go get that. Ah, well, I can't actually leave, so... No, it doesn't. And we are to the womb, and it's gonna be very nice to have flight. Very, very nice to have flight. I was gonna get hit there. There was no way I wasn't getting hit. Oh, I'm mad because I'm bad. So one plus one forever. Just 
means that I'm basically going to get one plus one, or double item drops, for the rest of the game. One of my absolute favorite shop items, because it it's basically wealth from below, but purchasable in the shop for a measly 15 cents. Granted, it's, you know, it's an item, it's a single item that does that, but imagine getting both of them. And I'm assuming that's why they don't have the exact same effect, because if they did have the exact same thing, then what, they'd be useless? You'd get one, but not the other. That said, it's a pretty sweet thing that's going on right here. Hello, Fallen. I am going to have a reroll just for you. Oh, darn. Well, I get my special protectorate fly. Now, I don't know what a goat's head does in terms of whether or not the angel room disappears. Oof, 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 oof. I really don't want to have to, like, abandon this or something like that. Okay, well, one's dead. This one's almost dead. So we get an option between Horror of Babylon and Evil Up. I'm gonna go check this out first. It's a devil room. I don't really want either of those. The Book of Belial is nice. But I don't want to replace the D6. Oh, that's a full health? Hell yeah, I'm keeping that. And nope, I am not a wizard. I'm rerolling these. I don't want either of these either. And I don't have good mother or health up pills, so... Well, ask... Oh, and a... Bunch of full health and tears down. So... I can now go and fight this floor with impunity, so long as I don't take enough hearts to kill me within one room. So I believe that's the watch, that item that I purchased right there, is slowing the enemies in this room. I think there's a chance for enemies to be slowed during the room. I think I saw that on one of his Naps videos as well. I feel bad that I'm not, the, you know, the only one figuring things out, but... You gotta admit, guys, I love playing Isaac so much that uh, I can't play it as much as I would like to, so instead I resort to watching it. It's really annoying, but it's a lot of fun to watch. I mean, presumably those of you who are awesome enough to be watching this and to be consistently watching my series uh, find me entertaining, and that's, you know, exactly why I watch BizNap stuff, I find him entertaining, uh, mostly because he is another streamer who's very... Tied into the game. He uh, he likes learning the game. He likes playing the game. He likes figuring stuff out, seeing things that haven't been seen before, doing things that haven't been done before. I would absolutely love to be one of the first people to post a breaking run of this game. Not that I'm planning on doing that explicitly. I'm not going to like try hard for it. But there are so many items in this game that I don't think it's possible to just say I'm breaking the game this run and then you know do it. That champion is an attractor. That is kind of cool. I wonder if the champion belt actually increases your chance of, uh, like, having a weird champion. Like, I've never seen that champion before. Yeah, I picked up a 1 plus 1 free of hearts before I even finished the room. And it didn't really matter. Hey, gurglings. This is what happens when I can fly. Stop giving a shit about you. You can go die. My damage is really nice. I just made a, a rhyme there. I, I'm a little ashamed of myself. So, the positive thing here is I no longer have to worry about taking red heart damage on a floor. So I can just optimize for survival, which is like, don't take any soul hearts until you go down on the next floor. That's really cool. Oh, you should totally give me a shoot to whip so I can reroll it. Come on. That's right, you be sad and die. Well, I guess you're angry there, and here you're meh. 
Either way, you're dead. Shoot whoop. Ooh, is that mom's? It's mom's contacts. Awesome. That's a freeze effect. Uh, whenever we land a tier on an enemy, it will give them a probability. Just looking for tinted rocks. Uh, a probability to be frozen, which is ridiculously cool. And I totally didn't clear rooms. I'm gonna clear all the rooms, guys. I've got nothing else to lose. Look at that! Look at that! That's beautiful. It's gonna mean that if I get a, uh, if I increase my fire rate even faster, uh, you can permanently lock an enemy in that state, just permanently. Now, with the negative and this run, I want to go fight Isaac, but at the same time, I also really want to go and see if I can get into the dark chest again, because I think I could beat that. Like, that's, that's, I want to see that. I want to see that ending. Don't see any tinted rocks. Nope, no tinted rocks that I can see. I'm doing just a quick scan anyway, I don't want to take too long. Oh, I am very glad that this room is slowed because I absolutely hate all of these enemies. These are like my two least favorite enemies, maybe. Maybe not the least favorite, but they're definitely up there. In terms of obnoxiousness. And not all of them are from this version of the game. Some of those obnoxiousness things are from uh, the original. We've got so many bombs, there's exactly zero reason for me not to check all of these. I need to line up this with... Pretty sure we're not going to get a secret room there, but I had to check. Who knows what top secret room we're going to... I mean, I don't. That should be about right. It's not there. Don't think it's going to be there. Nope. Guess there's still some rooms I haven't cleared yet. Probably in this little C right here. In fact, I'd go ahead and say it is. Yep. Uh, well, sure, I'll gamble. I will gamble hard. That's amazing. Game, you're so weird sometimes. Like, really weird. I don't understand you. Like, sure, my- oh my gosh, that's another full health bill. So let me put it this way, game. Uh, there's no way in hell that I am not getting the blood bag out of that machine. Just strictly no. You're not going to win on this one. In fact, uh, it's like to the point where I'm going to stop gambling here because I'm going to make so much money. Like, if I didn't already have Kin unlocked, I'd be unlocking him three times. That's the tears down. Don't definitely don't want that. That gamma game. I don't I don't understand you. Gambling, gambling, gambling. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to get those coins. No, I did it without picking up the tears down pills. So much money will be mine. Makes me really sad that there's no donation machine left. Granted, I could still find one in like the top secret room. Oh, I made a mistake. Actually, that's not gonna matter because I've cleared the floor. My speed is fine. I'm actually just hoping to get another pretty fly. That's like my real reason for continuing to play this. Of course, if it keeps giving me money, there's not much I can do to stop it. Just keep giving it money and it keeps giving it back. If it pays out with two coins, that's literally, you know, 300% profit. 
Alright. Now we can continue the shenanigans. Just making so much money. Oh, that's right. We had a soul heart, so it was it actually was a bad trip instead of something useful, like full health, like I was expecting it to be. So that's actually gonna make it slightly harder. So I was correct when the first time when I said I made a mistake. And it has to give me two cents every time. It absolutely has to. So is that every single time I get hit when I have a heart left? Is, is that how that's working? I'm trying to figure it out. We get all that money. Look at that! I got the blood bag. I told you it wasn't gonna stop me. Like, that's what I said. I said, I, I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna pull you up. I. Yep, money bombs. Just give me the full health. I don't want the tears down. So, secret room? Yes. Top secret room. I mean, we're gonna look for it. No reason to not look for it. Well, okay, I'm sure you could come up with a reason to not look for it. Like, it's gonna take a while. But it's gonna take a while, I mean, I think there's three more places over here. Correction, one more place over here. And maybe two or three. On our way back to the boss. Because it can't be off of it. Uh, nope, there's, there's one more over here. I keep forgetting that that wonderful star symbol... Nope, it's not over here, because... Make a long story short, if you can't get to it on foot, if you can't get to a place on foot, the secret and top secret room can't be there. Like it could be here. That's about it. It can't be on any of the other two walls because you have to be flying to be able to set a bomb there. And then it's gonna be on one of these two corners. Yeah, it's gonna be here or here. And there it is. Ooh, see, I don't know what this does. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's so much fun. Uh, it's still gonna take this though. Okay, I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna go. Like, what happens if I use this? Yeah, I don't know what just happened. I don't know if anything happened. I'm just gonna keep pumping money into this until I feel like. I guess until I get three spirit hearts. What's this? The sun. Uh, the sun is strictly better than full health, so sure. Have I seen the exit? No, but I plan to. Tick's not bad, but I don't really feel like doing that just yet. Because you can't get rid of the tick, so. It's three spirit hearts, so we'll do five more. We'll get down to 25. Game. Moon. Don't need that. Another one of those. Two of them. Okay, this is abundance, so use it in here. Oh, it just doubled everything, didn't it? Um guys. Oh okay, this is this is Hagalaz. So what if I so yeah. This is ridiculous. Please, everything go away. So, hog laws, what if I use it in here? Ooh. It just blew up all the rocks. Okay, so that destroyed everything, because it's destruction. So what happens if I use it in here? Do I get to save a bomb? Nope. Alright. I want to grab my full health and just get out of here. Yep, I think we're good, and I end. Oh, wait. The devil room's still here. I still don't want either of those things. Oh, the fool. And I did not get the ability to re-roll him. So we're just going to go off to Mom's heart. Whew. So this is a pretty good run, I would say. We're, our consumable situation is ridiculous. Oh, gosh. Yes, baby. I've got... Two rerolls just sitting there. That's amazing. That's beautiful. That is why that battery is so dangerous. 
because it is just a reroll waiting to happen. All I need is an item. And actually, there is no guaranteed item on this floor. That's really bad. Bad game. Bad game. That's not cool. There are no guaranteed items on this floor because it's mom's heart, so there's no item at the end. And also, um, the devil room is just down to shoal. Game. Just please stop being a total dick. Because that's exactly what you're being right now. I am just going to check these for top secret room. Since I don't think this floor is going to curve all the way around. Just trying to stay out of that uh, eye's range until it dies. And there we go. Just spent the whole room spinning. Oh my gosh. I, I It's moving so fast I couldn't get away from it. But Penny. I don't know what that is and I don't really want to know. I think we're going to shoal this run only because... Oh, I should have taken the sun, I realize. That's okay. I want an item. So bad. I could become guppy. Okay, two champions in this room. Three champions in this room. Don't know what they all do. Ugh, that knockback. Really? Game. This is where the game has decided that what I'm doing is an insult to its existence. And it is therefore going to try to find the most insulting thing it can do. Which is give me a ton of rerolls and no items. Like, if there is a an item that just happens to fall out of nowhere... I'll be the happiest person ever because I can just reroll it basically forever. There are so many batteries just sitting around on this floor. This is kind of terrifying. Luckily, the only other enemy in this room is poop, which is neither difficult to dodge nor difficult to kill. But if there had been like something more substantially dangerous, uh, it would have been bad. Right, so we've got a spirit heart. I'm just going to let it be for now. So many champions. I'm okay with this many champions. I have nothing wrong with this many champions. It's just interesting. We are still rolling in money. Like, consumables are not at all an issue. And that's, it's honestly almost more annoying that way. Game. Game, 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 game. This, this is the game being a total dick. I've already said it, but... Jeez. Yep, game, laugh. We know you want to. Just gonna try and kill these. Did, wait. Okay, I thought I hadn't killed the other mom hand, but I guess I did. thought it had gone away. And you're dead. I'm pretty sure I can leave the mom's heart fight, but I think if I want to. I don't think there's a reason to. Like, leave after it, I mean. <sighs> so many rerolls. So many rerolls. See, you can get here. Okay. This could be it. Nope, it's a trinket. It's a trinket, because, you know, just fuck you. Could have been an item. It could have been an item game. It could have been that. You could have been that for me, and I don't think it can be there. I've got so many bombs, I don't even care. I'm just going to put them on, like, every non-doored wall in the damn place. Don't think it can actually be there. Top secret could be there. We check there... We checked there. Guess technically. 
technically could have been there. Um, it's a boss challenge room. Technically, nope. Top secret could be there. I think I already checked that, but... Alright, so... We continue the checking, but it is nowhere around here. Uh, actually, it could have been there. Actually, I don't think it could be. I've got 20 bombs. I've got nothing else to do with them. Seriously, why was that a trap door? Give me back my full health bill. Alright, so... Nope. Nope. I guess here? I think that's a little high. I don't know, man. I don't know where the top, where the secret room is. I think the secret room has to be next to the top secret room. Because this layout is just so weird. Like, there's one place left for the top secret room, I think, and that's right here. And that's obviously not it, so I don't know what to say. I've checked like every fracking room. Oh. Right there. No. Okay, it could be off the left of this room. There's always a place. It, it It's there. It's just, you gotta find it. Uh, Judas is... Okay. I don't know what Judas's tongue does. I'm tempted to find out, but I don't care enough. Oh my gosh, everything is slowed in this boss fight. That's gonna make this ridiculous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So, this is actually a fun side effect of the slow. Uh, the range of everything is worse. Like, and I mean everything is worse because it's just going slow. So it can't reach me on the end of this, at the side of this wall. It just can't reach. That's really funny and like really broken. If this procs on a boss fight, the boss fight's super easy. I don't even know what to say about that. You are trying to pump out those shots as fast as you can it lives. You really are. And I appreciate that. Okay, but those didn't go any slower. I wasn't expecting it to stop rotating. So that's gonna be... <sighs> I wanna dark chest this. I wanna try it. I wanna see if it's a guarantee. I really do. Yeah, you're slow. Enjoy it. I want you to enjoy all of that. Also, I'm going to hide behind this rock because Spectral Tears. Yeah, my damage isn't all that great, to be honest. It's not bad, but it sure as hell ain't great. It, it definitely has... It could definitely use with another damage up item. I will figure out a way to track those guys. Like, I don't know if there's like a tell anywhere or if they're legitimately invisible. I'm unsure, but I would like to know. Okay, we got two of you guys. I don't know how I dodged all those charges. Yeah, I mean, look at how fast I'm killing them. Which, by the way, by that I mean I'm not fast at all. Okay, one did die. So I was doing good damage to one. 
Ugh, did not want you to charge again, dude. Just stay put and do something. Didn't want keys, would rather that been hearts. Really? I took... Ugh. Okay. That's better. Significantly better, mind you, but... Oh good, you got frozen. Please proceed to get wrecked. This is a giant floor. I managed to kill that one while it was invisible. Yeah, this, this floor is ridiculously large. Yeah, ghost. How do you feel? You were petrified. Bombs. You know what? These fires can drop spirit hearts. It's possible. I'm pretty sure these guys will eventually break free if you let them just hang out long enough. I don't want to do that, though. Tempting as it may be. More of these guys. I really don't like these guys. They're just an annoying enemy. They're not particularly hard, but they can just suddenly out of nowhere around you. So you gotta keep moving. And try not to run into them when they appear in your path. Oh, that last shot barely killed it. Don't know how I dodged that because I'm really bad at... Oh, gosh. This is one of those rooms where it just constantly fires. I gotta stay ahead of it. And it'll stop firing once all these idiots are dead. Okay, so we found Satan. Now the goal is to get as full health as possible and or find some items, because seriously. Alright, so top secret room could be there, I think. Secret room could be there. Nope. Secret room cannot be there. We'll find out about some of these. Okay, luckily you're a little squishy. And being slowed, I am certainly fast enough to dodge all of your shenanigans. Nope, no top secret room there. Why, hello, war. I'm not going to like this fight. I don't want to fight you. You're just a dick. No super troll bombs. Luckily, that, that one super troll bomb was trying really hard to accelerate. Wow, he did not care about that freezing tier. One bit. Yeah, I was afraid that one bomb would accelerate the other one so that it could catch up to me. Luckily, I am fast enough to avoid him. If only barely. Yeah, he did not care at all about the, uh, the freezing effect. Hypothetically, if there's no other decent places, the secret room could have been there. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it can be here. This is actually pretty confident. Nope, not at all. Oh, that's because oh, I didn't realize there was... Actually, no, because there's not just a bridge there. Oh my, that is actually a little terrifying. I'm glad that thing died when it did. Because <laughs> I was not expecting it to go dark and suddenly run at me. Especially because, as I said, I thought they would escape eventually if you didn't kill them. But I didn't really expect it to be that fast. I feel like there are other rooms where, where they've been there but not escaped nearly that fast. Well, I'm getting mostly keys, so my bombs aren't really helping. There we go, found the secret room. Sure, I've got nothing better to do than gamble. With this money. Like, literally nothing better to do. 
Sure, we'll take a range up. I'll take more bombs. And more money, because you want me to keep playing. If you can give me up to 99 cents without giving me a dollar, I'll be really impressed, slot machine. Well, valiant effort. All for naught, but valiant. Alright, so top secret room's all that we got left. I don't know if I, I thought I tried these, honestly. I thought I did. But I can't see the bomb marks. So I have to try again. This means it's probably this way. Why, hello, Gemini. This is like Gemini, Gemini, because Gemini is the twins, and these are twins, and one of them is called Gemini. So it's a Gemini of Gemini. Just die, Gemini. That was unfortunate. I don't, still don't know what that does. Really? Where have I checked for the top secret room? Because I've checked for it like everywhere I can think of that's viable. Um, I checked all in the corner that I'm by. Pretty sure. Yeah, I can see that one. I didn't check below because it can't be there. I checked south of that one. This one doesn't have a viable one it could be off of. This room doesn't have anything viable it can be off of. This room I checked here, but I don't see one here. Alright, so I've checked there and there. That's not viable. Nothing viable off here. Nothing viable off here. I checked the one viable off there. Checked the one viable off there. Nothing viable off this one. Check the two viable ones off this one. Nothing viable off this one. Here. There we go. Red chest. Pills. Health up. Amnesia. Good thing I have literally nothing else on this floor. Oh good. Oh, it looks like the freezing can't affect something that's already being frozen. That's that's probably for the best, to be honest. That was close. Taking some silly damage there. Damage I'm not particularly proud of. Can we freeze the devil? Ooh, I haven't seen that attack before. Looks like the, the tears that would freeze have a chance to freeze. Ooh, he finally got me. Okay, Satan. Let's do this. I don't know if those actually hurt him. Because they're hurting me. Alright. So we use that full health. These are spawning so much more aggressively than in previous fights. I don't know if they're just going to keep spawning, or if it's just trying to keep it at two of them. The second half of this fight has gone much better than the first half. Mom's knife is the achievement I just got unlocked in the bottom right, and we're gonna see! I do in fact go down to the dark chest. Very cool. Okay. I think this has a chance. We have Mom's knife, which is really nice, really nice. Red chest. It's like the chest, except it looks really cool. 
I am not a wizard. That is a that is a health up pill. That is a paralysis pill. I'm just gonna use it so I don't have to. No, 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 no. In fact, I'm going to go and take the effort of dropping that because I don't ever want to see it again. Okay. This, yep. Okay, that was kind of scary, but it turned out okay. Okay, this is a bad, 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 bad thing. Okay, as long as they stay put, this might not be all that bad. But it's about to not be that good. I'm trying to focus fire the one. Very, very hard. die. Good. Okay, one down. This fight is so much more manageable with one, especially when you've got freezing contact effects. A lot of the stuff he does is really slow um, and relatively easy to dodge, except when I'm not paying attention. And if you're standing further away, it seems like it takes longer for that jump to happen. I still, I need like another damage up of some kind. Luckily, we're staying on the curve with health. We're staying, oh dear Christ. There's nothing good to come of this room. Focusing on dodging the attacks. I'm not gonna be able to dodge a brimstone like that. It's just not gonna happen. Yep, he just fires it straight. Basically, he can decide to win the fight just by firing Brimstone constantly. I think I'm actually safe to his Brimstone up here. The Leapers are basically his only weapon against me there because his other tiers don't go far enough. That's okay, though, because he hasn't realized that Otherwise, he would be just constantly spawning leapers, and even so, my damage is good enough to deal with that. I will look for secret rooms eventually here. Oh, Christ, no. Please, no. Please, no. Luckily, they're slowed, which is really good. That stopwatch item is amazing. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I don't even want to accidentally think about doing that. Not a fan. Not a fan. Don't like these fracking eels. Nice. Got you just in time. Hello, Mask of Infamy. Inf infamy? I don't even know what I said. I just know that it was wrong. Mask of Infamy is not that bad of a boss. Uh, he's annoying when you have not enough damage. But as long as you have speed... And the poison is actually going to be really useful if it hits. I think he's actually easier now than he was in the previous game. But a Mask of Infamy fight when you didn't have a lot of damage was just... You were going to get constantly hit. Having a freezing tier effect also helps pretty nice. Of course it has to land. Come on, hearts. That's a magnet. I'm re-rolling it. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I know it's one of the astrological signs, but none of the astrological signs... Actually, no, there is one that I would want. I think it gives you a chance of... Oh gosh, I'm making money when I get hit. Totally forgot about that. When you've got double... I don't want to die to fucking greed. Super, oh my gosh. Triple shot should not be that hard to dodge, but it just is. I don't know why, I'm just bad at it. It doesn't... Just die super greed. Alright, 25 cents. Something I want even less. So I'm going to go grab that. Because I have something else to re-roll. Refreshed and protected, that is the one that I wanted. 
Uh, this gives me a chance at being uh, at getting a shield. These guys being are these all? Yeah, these are all pest ones. Oh, stopwatch! You are amazing, like truly, truly amazing. Thank you. You have made this this room so easy. It's not even funny. His tears can't even reach me. It's just strictly that simple. My range is high enough that he is 100% useless. But man, I need hearts. I am trying to... Oh, there's going to be so much to watch in this room. So much to watch in this room. I can kill these just by walking close, but the spiders are going to be a different matter. Okay, that one's dead. You need to do go die. Don't know how I didn't get hit by him, but I'm not complaining. Chest. Mr. Boom. Well, you know what? This could be a secret room, so you're going there. In fact, you are. In no. No! I already killed you. How are you back? Well, luckily, without the other two greeds, there are two quarters. And Ankh, eternal life. Okay, so, if I die, I can come back as Blue Baby. And I've got two quarters sitting on the map, which is peculiar. There's this thing, which I've seen in a previous run, the last run, actually, I think. That is terrifying. Please die. P please die. I don't want to see over again. Just die. It will be over soon. Alright, so this was the wrong way. Am I surprised? No. That's okay, though, because Teratome is... Oh, wow. I was not paying attention. They, they blended it perfectly in with the crap that was on the ground. So, we are at one health. I need, like, like a full health pill would be godly. That is so much what I need, and I... Like, I'm looking at the snail symbol above their head. <sighs> Toxic Blast. We've got a reroll. Reroll, Mr. Boom. Sure, I'll take Brother Bobby. He's not good, but he's not bad. This is death, isn't it? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm so dead, it's not even funny. These fourth scythes will kill me. Ugh, and there you go. Just spawning it in a corner is so obnoxious. So I've got a three heart blue baby. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. This room, this is huge. I, I can't bomb out of here even, can I? I do not have the damage for this. I just don't. I want the damage to it really badly, but I'm just gonna... Oh, yep. It's like, there's the third one. Where's the third one? That was a really good bomb. I think one of them died. I don't know when it died, but it died. Come on. I don't think I want to fuck with Little Planet. Like, as, as much as I want to pick up Little Planet and not be screwed by it, maybe it actually would be a good thing. Oh my gosh, really? The invulnerability, and, or in this case, lack thereof. I was expecting to be invulnerable for a little bit longer, which was, you know, obviously not the case. So the Rosary is about all that can save me right now. Or something that actually generates spirit hearts. I'm not even going to get to see the final boss. Oh gosh, they're slow. They're not going to travel like any distance at all. Oh god, this means I, I can't predict where they're going to land. I can't predict where they're going to land. 
Holy shit. That's actually really terrifying. Like, they're... Yeah, and I'm dead. Oh my gosh. I thought my damage was good, but it was not. I mean, I, I didn't think it was amazing, but I thought it was going to be enough to get me through it. And it just... Nope. <laughs> Not to mention that that was an absolutely huge floor. I was ex I ran into the boss really early last time, and this time, no, none of it. Um, either way, this was a fun run. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. I picked up a ton of stuff. Um, yeah, I, not much more to be said, really. It was pretty cool, a lot of fun, and I hope you guys learned something, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I will uh, see you guys next time.